Hey guys, this is Whistler and Hightower from the Achievement Hunter community. Hey, what's up? And we're doing This Is for Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. I am excited. I've been looking forward to this game for a while, actually. Yeah, no, I, it's actually a lot more fun than what I thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, I'm having, like, a lot of fun with it. I mean, I've only been playing it for a day, but I'm I'm really enjoying it. Like, I'm not a big multiplayer shooter guy anymore. But it's, it's fun. I'm really liking it. It's hard to get annoyed because everything's so cute. Yeah, it's cute and it looks really good. I like the way everything kind of flops about while yeah. you're playing it. Like all your leaves and stuff. So this game has a couple modes. The first one is Garden Ops. Which is a great name. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it's kind of just like, I guess, horde mode, you would say. Yeah, it's basically like a wave defend the subjective from a load of enemies mode. Yeah, you have a garden and just enemies come. It gets increasingly harder. Um, there's a few achievements tied to it, but I'm not going to go too much into it. A lot of the achievements are just like kill X, Y number of times. Yeah, all the achievements are like really simple. There's nothing that really pushes you to do stuff. No. So, I mean, I guess it's good. It's easy to a thousand if you want. Yeah, you just need to play loads. Yeah, totally. So, uh, for garden ops, you just have pretty much uh, garden normal, garden crazy, and garden hardcore, which is to complete garden ops match on normal, crazy, and hard difficulty. Which is pretty easy. Yeah, I, I played. Uh, I've only played one round of the garden ops mode so far, but it's good. I like it. I was playing as a cactus. And there's also uh, another game mode called Gardens and Graveyards, which is pretty much Battlefield Rush. Yeah. And what you do instead of two objectives, it's just the one. You need to go to a territory and just capture it. I guess like get into the area. Yeah, you just stand in the area and it captures. And it captures faster if more of you were there. But if loads of plants are in the area, they can block the capture. I played a couple of rounds of that for the first time. I was mostly just playing Team Vanquish. Yeah, Team Vanquish is also fun. It's just running around it's shooting other match, players. Basically, team Deathmatch. They don't refer yeah. to kills in this as kills, and they refer to them as KOs. Plus, I don't want to kill zombies. They're kind of cute in this game. No, they're awesome. I mean, I really like. Even the basic zombie, the foot soldier, I think it's just a lot of fun to run around with a machine gun. Yeah. Shooting at sunflowers and... I hate killing sunflowers because they're like the cutest things in the whole game. <laughs> they just have a big smile the on ugly their one? face. I don't want to shoot the smile right, off their well, face. Right, well, Chompers the ugly one, so... Oh I'm yeah, no I'll gladly kill that. Chompers, they're ugly bastards. Using everyone's kind of special ability, yeah. pretty much. So, like the foot soldier has a rocket launcher, there's like a scientist and he can... He can teleport, like, teleport close, he's got like, a he's... shotgun style weapon that works really well at close range. And then there's the all-star, he can... Oh, what does he do? He just barges through people, I guess? Yeah, he just like slams into people. I mean, you get more... Like, every character has challenges, and when uh, you complete the challenges, and they're very easy, it could be something like use the ability two times. Yeah. When you complete the challenges, you get a higher rank with your character and unlock more special abilities, and it's very... You get it very early on, so it's not a lot of grinding. Yeah. Like the challenges then, start off really easy, yeah. just so you can unlock the abilities, and then after then it starts to get a bit deeper. Speaking of ranking up, there's a couple of achievements tied to that, which is... Uh, challenge accepted, reach level 10 with any character, and going strong, reach rank 50. Yeah. Which I'm assuming is the max rank. I'm going to assume that. Um, I think it's possible over time, because it doesn't seem like you ranking up personally is based on experience, it's based on the challenges you do. It is for like uh, the characters themselves, but I think rank wise, it's just like level, it's just experience. Oh, exclusive to the Xbox One as well is split screen. Whoa! Is it only on the Xbox One? I didn't know that. It doesn't matter because I only have one controller anyway. I've, I've tried it out because I have two controllers. I played with my roommate, and you really can only play Garden Ops mode with two people. You can only play it offline, so can you? It's not as well. I think I read that somewhere. Yeah, you can't play with other players. Which it's that only kind of ops. sucks. You can't at the very least play it online. Yeah, it's kind of bad. I mean, I guess it's just good for casual fun, you know. Yeah. Uh, Alright guys, that's pretty much all there is to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. I think it's a lot of fun. Definitely pick it up because it's a budget title. Only cost yeah, me like about 40 bucks. 30 quid. 30 quid, so yeah. 30 quid. Bargain. 30 quid. 30 British 30 pounds. pounds. It's about 40 bucks, hey, so... <laughs> And yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, check back at achievementhunter.com for more. Goodbye.